know this is the extra step ceo youtube channel where i share business ideas tips that can help you grow your business i inspire you to start is there anything that you think you can build on and make money from so what are you waiting for start it don't wait another second i motivate you if there's any point in your business journey and you just think you don't want to go on anymore just tune into the extra steps in your channel and you'll be motivated to carry on so like i promised it's going to be it's going to be a jolly year together stay tuned and keep the emails coming in keep your comments coming in i do appreciate it and um, on today's video i'll be sharing a few tips on competition so let's go right into today's video hi people welcome back to my channel welcome 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 and if you are new to this channel i welcome you and um subscribe hit the notification bell so that when i upload new videos you'll be notified and to all my subscribers thank you thank you for your comment thank you for encouraging so on today's video i'll be sharing a few tips on competition and staying ahead of competition in your various niche as business owners as entrepreneurs so, i received an email sometimes they go and I just think it's time for me to address that email now though I've replied what do I do when I'm, when I am in a competitive um, business like I'm tired of this business because the competition is just too much well the first thing you need to know in business is competition cannot in any way be stopped even big brands they are competing with smaller brands every day they are competing against themselves they, like the competition in the business world cannot just be eradicated because let me tell you something competition is healthy in business if you are in business and you are not being competed against or you're not competing against someone then you need a rethink of that business so competition is healthy competition is an everyday thing in business no matter how big or how up there the brand is they compete so let's get that out first okay so now to my number one tip that i want you to know what is the competition about who is competing against you or who are you competing the against the main reason why people compete is for profitability that like they just want to be the shining star like oh my brand is the best my brand is this this that, that. so set yourself up for competition if you're in business so understand the competition why is there a competition who are we competing against so observe your marketplace you should know what operates in your marketplace what are people buying into what's what do they want to see how is your product a solution to them when you observe your marketplace then you now know what the competition is about who are you competing against and how do you go about the competition then number, number two one. how well do you know your audience how well do you know these people that you have, yeah. you have as customers how well do you know your clients so you need to ask your clients questions the question of what what can i do to make things easier for you how how can i improve my services so that you can recommend me why why am i the brand you you like so ask your audience these three questions why what and how that's what i call customer audits you know audit your audience don't be too shy too timid or too high up there to ask your customers because you are a solution to a problem to them so you should seek for ways you can get better and improve on your services and how best can you get this done it's only through your customers ask them questions interact with them you know with this yeah you are more like knowing what more to do how to get better at what you're doing what innovation you can introduce into your business so you should know your customers purchasing patterns so how like do you stand me. stand out what's your unique selling point this is something you should look at like when you're trying to tell me oh the competition is too much i would ask you yeah i know the competition is too much but how do you stand out what do you do differently or what can you do differently or what have you done differently for you to now say oh i am tired i am giving up the competition is too much you know you should have a unique selling point so that it is from that um point of view that you now start to talk like okay i have done this i've done that i'm different in this way 
but the competition is still affecting me if you don't have a unique selling point then what are we then saying number four how clear is your value proposition like when you talk about your product, when you talk about brand, your brand, how clear does this resonate in the mind of your audience? Like, when you talk about my brand now, you know, you said that you see, oh, natural air, air pins all over, like, oh, beautiful accessories, you know, try to establish a value proposition that stands out in the mind of your audience. Before you now start saying there is a fierce competition out there. Be ready for the competition. Maybe it's just a way for you to test other markets. Like, okay, you, you probably have been addressing the wrong audience. Maybe it's time for you to branch out and see, oh, let me test this part of my audience. Maybe th these are people I need to concentrate on. Or let me just branch out and see. Maybe these people are not actually my audience. You know? With your, as business owners, we just say, oh, the competition is too much. Maybe you are just competing against the wrong, wrong team. So, it could be a time for you to branch out. So, that's it. Target new market. Target new audience. In the event that you have loyal customers that you know that, oh, these people are loyal to you and um, you trust them because they trust your brand, they are the existing customers that you have to pamper. You have to keep them. You have to make their well-being number one in your business because they are loyal to your business because they love your brand. So take care of your existing customers. This very last tip that people do not really bother about, which I tell people is take care of your team. If, if you are working with some people, maybe you have your marketers, you have your brand ambassadors, like these are people in your team take care of them send them out on courses be be interested in their well-being because it is with this power that you put into them that they will transfer to your own business so if you are not interested in their well-being they will treat your business like i don't care even if there is competition before you know it they will sell you out your team members like build it together build it together with their interest in mind don't do anything that would um, jeopardize their own health all in the name of you are competing you are you, you have to meet up to some standard fine you have to meet up to some standard but not at the detriment of your team members your workers your staff take care of them invest in them send them on courses like because whatever it is that you you invest in will you die results that you want but if you don't invest in them and you just think oh it's my business i'm the one that should go on these courses i'm the one that should go yeah you will get yourself burnt out and before you know it you'll be taking a lot of aggression out on your customers out on your team so invest in them send them out on courses so that when they come back whatever it is that they've learned they will add it to your business and they will owe you to high esteem like oh someone that has invested so much in me i don't want to let this person down so these are tips to stay ahead of competition in whatever niche you are in and please stop focusing on the competition look for ways to get your brands up there look for ways to improve in your branding improve in your in your product instead of focusing on the competition you get distracted so in conclusion competition is everywhere in business just improve on your own skills know how to get better know how to improve on your on your own product and um try to satisfy your customer delight your customers more okay thank you so much for watching me today and if there are any other tips that you've used in your business that you think has helped your business as well i would really appreciate if you can drop it in the comment section it would help my audience it will help me i am ready and open to new ideas that can help my business until i come again some other time thank you and stay blessed bye now